Okay. I am not wearing these. They don't even fit on. It's fine. Just take your hat off for a minute. No. No one can see. Just go, Merry Christmas. Merry and Christmas. Then we'll stop. G'day guys, it is Christmas time and we are here to share with you exactly what we spent on all of our Christmas stuff this year, plus some extra bits of shopping so that you can decide probably if we spent too much money on Christmas, but also how much is Christmas potentially gonna cost you if you move to Australia? What are we starting with? Well, Booze started. or food? We'll save the best till last. Okay, let's food first then. All right. Oh my goodness me. This doesn't seem particularly Christmassy. Eggs? Eggs, straight away, found them. 4.69. It's like we've done this before. Breakfast bubbles? 3.49. 3.49. Choco rice? 5.69. God, Choco that's rice. gone up. Power grain. Power grain, 4.49. 4.49. Muesli clusters. Muesli clusters, 3.69. Oh, not quite. Fine chocolate. Well, they call them after eights. But at least we can play the after eight game. Mint thins, 4.99. 4.99. And then various pouches, pouches. for the little girl. Uh, 95 cents 95 each. cents each. Tops. Oh yeah, they're oh, a bit nice. Like rips. Yep. Two sixty nine. Two sixty nine. That's a shortbread. We always need a bit of shortbread at Christmas. Two twenty nine. The soup for the slightly older girl. She's still fussy about Difficult Aldi soup. One. By the way, everything is from Two Aldi. Two sixty nine. Two sixty nine. By the way, everything is from Aldi. If you hadn't quite grasped. Diced tomatoes. Yep, 95 cents each. And if you're wondering why the hell, Ross, is your kitchen all blue? This is yeah. the new kitchen. It's pretty much the same style as we had before, but I haven't finished the decorating yet, hence why there's no splashback. And as a result, I haven't taken the protective covers off. But Aurora loves it because she calls it her Elsa kitchen. Elsa blue. Uh, golden syrup. Oh yeah, I need that for my famous rocky road. So famous, no one else has heard about it, but Yes, okay. they have. Plenty of people have. Yeah, there it is, 269. Aioli, and the Aioli. creamy kind. Aioli, mm. Aioli, Aioli. There it is, 229. Coconut water. Coconut water for the difficult child. Coconut water, 2.99 each. I think we've got two of them. Okay. So far, not much of this seems Christmassy, apart from shortbread, short maybe, and chocolate thins. But this one will. <laughs> the thing that I use to cheat on a potato bake, the potato bake powder. Recipe base. Yeah, 149, I think that was it. And some wipes to clean up after Christmas. The one thing about our new kitchen is we have a massive island, or well, peninsula, so we can fit more stuff on it, which means I get to spend more money. Disinfectant wipes, 369. Something to mix with all the bourbon. Coke. Dark Cokes. Yep, um, 829 for 829 a 12. 12. Pack. More drinky poos. More drinky poos. Lemonades. Lemonade. There's the other coconut water. Diet lemonade, I hope. Yeah. 115. 115. Tonic waters. Tonic water, 115. All the gins. Fabric softener. 2.99. Flying power oh. energy drinks. 3.99. You will eat some at Christmas, I guess. Bread. Bread. Yeah, white sauce bread. 2.29. Right, bags of chips. Mm. We have sea salt and balsamic vinegar. A crisp. And sweet chili and sour cream. I think they were like two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Yeah. yeah. Two ninety nine each. What about cheese rings, which are better than what's it's? Two thirty nine. Two thirty nine. Maybe if you get them into more raisin bread. Yep. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Raisin toast. Two ninety nine. Peanut butter. There. Peanut butter smooth. Three seventy nine. Mm -hmm. Baking paper and aluminium foil. Aluminium foil. Can't even say, say it. Aluminium. Al aluminium. That'll do. Close enough. That's quite expensive. Four twenty nine. It's metal. Yeah, and the other one is what? Baking, Baking. paper. Baking. Uh, Three fifty nine. I think most of the more Christmassy stuff is fresh things, and we haven't done them yet. There's the other oh, lemonade. See. Orange juice. Orange juice. Three nineteen. Your bucks fizzes. Yep. What about apple juice? Apple juice for Aurora. 269 as well. Just oats for porridge. Yeah, 135. They're nice and cheap. Fettuccine. Spaghetti. No, and I've decided to go against Povo spaghetti. Mm -hmm. 
fettuccine's posher. Does it taste better? Pasta and it tastes the same. I know they're 99 cents, because I swear that price hasn't changed since we've moved to Australia. Avos, they're down the bottom. Kilo of Avos, 3.99. Well, there's fettuccine right next to it, 99 cents. There you go. Dark beans, coffee. There you go, coffee bean. Why is it 11.99. So I told you it's all going to be down the bottom. Diet ginger beers. Ginger beer, 6.49. <coughs> Potatoes for the potato bake. Potatoes, $3.99. Poppy seed and sesame cracker things for the cheese board. Wafers. Now some of this stuff is buy it every week or weekly for us, and then some of this is a bit more treaty. Like we don't go through these bags of chips all the time. Fine wafer. Yeah, that bit. $1.89. And then underneath it, Rosemary Grassini's. Rosemary. Because you need like some sticks. kind of posh thing on a cheese board. Three ninety nine. Three not what? Yeah, they're well expensive. We got some of them in that box. Well, we've got doubled it, haven't we? <laughs> Christmas tree ah. cookies. Christmas tree cookies. Choco creme. Is that like Nutella? The girls, no idea. Uh, sorry, I just crossed it off and didn't even tell you. Um, Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. As much as the How Grassini's. How many is there? Six. Eight. Yeah. Oh, eight. Nice. I bet there's more Grassini's. Garlic bread. Garlic oh, bread. That's huge. This is like a garlic loaf. It actually says loaf. Does it? it serves 12. Oh, wow. Uh, we'll keep the raw again for a bit. Just loves a bit of garlic bread. 2.99. Bagels. Bagels, yum, 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 yum. 2.99. 2.99. Bananas. Bananas, whoa. A kilo and a half of bananas. 5.93. Digestives for your famous Rocky Road. For my Rocky Road, 2.99. Quite expensive, I think. All right, now we're getting into the fresh thing, so they think this is going to be... Can people see? Like, I don't know. Can you see? Let us know if you can't see. It'll all fit. Milk. Milk. Always need milk. 4.49. Uh, Kalamata and green olives with walnuts and feta yeah. for the cheese board. Uh, yeah, 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 Oliana bit. 2.99. Right, one of the meats for Christmas. We have a uh, stuffed turkey breast roast. And yes, I am cheating a little bit with like a whole turkey, but I don't really want a whole turkey at Christmas. We just like have different meats and pick at them and potato bake. $17? Yeah, $16.99. I don't even know what that says. It's For a just... kilo? Yeah, it's about that. What's this? Marvelicious chocolate mousse. I thought I'd get it for the girls to try as yeah, a treat. Yeah, the kids love that as a treat. Five ninety nine. They don't want pavlova. Uh, cream cheese. Cream cheese. On that note, so the people that we have coming around, they're making us a fruit platter to go along with the cheese. So we don't really have to pay for that. And we're, they're doing us a pavlova, so there's not really much. $2.69. Desserty stuff. Two sixty nine for these. Yeah. No, oh, for the cream, the cream cheese. cheese. And uh, what? Else? Oh, they said they were going to make some Biscoff brownies. So if I eat Yum. all the Rocky Road, uh, double dips, hummus and tzatziki, or if you're Australian, hummus. Four, I don't think I'm going to call it hummus. Four twenty nine. Four twenty nine. Lettuce for your prawn cocktail. Iceberg lettuce. Two forty nine. How much are these squishy yogurts? Yeah, 69, 69 cents. cents. I've got a few of those. Some meaty selections for the cheese board, because is it a charcuterie board? Sounding posh and pretentious now. Mild salami. Salami. Mild, 3.49. 3.49. And then I've got uh, a hot salami. 3.39. 3.39. And then I've got a prosciutto. For me, which is 4.49. 4.49. Always the good stuff for uh, Samantha. <laughs> cucumber. Bit of cucumber. Cucumber, 1.79. 1.79. Because we need some vegetable options at Christmas, I guess. But you don't really make friends with salad. A wellness salad kit. Wellness. You want to be well. Wellness, there it is. $4.99. $4.99, but it does oh, come with a sauce. So. What about a crunchy salad kit? Oh, here it is. $3.49. $3.49. Brie and camembert. Yeah. Brie is $2.49. Camembert is $2.49. Both the same. Uh, what about blue cheese? Danish blue is $3.99. And we're going to cheat because you've still got some cheeses that you like from. You haven't even opened yet. Sunny Vale. Sunny Vale spread. There it is. $2.69. Four star mints. $8.49. There you go. Tasty shredded cheese, six ninety nine. Yeah. Remember we used to do these, and we couldn't fit all of the food on the peninsula. Mm. And now we can. That's how much of an upgrade we've gone for. Strawberries. Strawberries, two ninety nine. Cheese streamers for the fussy kids who won't eat fancier 4 .29. cheese. Four twenty nine. 
You still love these things. Cocktail francs. How much have these changed for in the price kids. for the three years that we've been here? 2 99 And better eating that than prosciutto. Aged cheddar. Because if you want English tasting 36 cheddar. 36 months. You have to get the aged 3 99 3 99 Right, our other meat option. We've got a half lamb. Half which lamb. Which I'll butterfly and probably smoke in the oven. Not smoke in the oven. Smoke in the smoker and then finish off on the barbecue. 11 50 11 50 I could have told you. Nah, uh, yeah. I could have told you that. Posh yogurts. Posh yogurt. 4 99 These are good at picky things. Cocktail vegetable spring rolls. 5 99 uh, Other good picky things. Triangle tempters. Hmm. $2.99. Now I have to preface this again. We're not eating all of this stuff on Christmas Day. This no. is probably Christmas all the way through to New Year's and we're just gonna yeah. live off of what you call yeah, it? Yeah, we've got a lot. Leftovers. <laughs> which is great because then it means I don't have to cook. Because you're not gonna be doing the cooking, are you, man? No. Nope. Chicken nuggets! Chicken. The only ones that Aurora will eat. Well, at the moment, she hasn't really tried many of them. Fussy kid. Chicken nuggets there, two fifty nine. Les Petit, real fruit yogurts. Oh, sorry. I think them ones were four ninety nine, and our yogurts were three ninety nine. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sweet potato fries. Uh, four sixty nine. And then we have two five hundred gram bags of. Uh, Bronze. 11 99 each. 11 99 each. So that is all of our Christmas food going from Christmas into New Year's. This does contain some of the just weekly shops things as well so that you can see those prices. Just throw them all in there for your pleasure. You're welcome. And uh, the total of it is going to come up there. And that's how much we spent on food. But that's not the most important thing. Let's put all this away and then we're going to show you how much we spent on booze. It does slightly disappoint me inside. If our story has inspired you to move to Australia or you're in the early stages of moving over and you don't know where to start, then you'll need to find out if you even qualify for a visa. Australia is one of those pesky countries that doesn't just let anyone in and realistically the whole moving process was probably one of the hardest things that I've ever done in my life. To help you out and plan what you need to do next, speak to our friends True Blue Migration Services and when you mention us, let them do the hard work of navigating the ever-changing Australian visa system and use their free visa assessment service so they can tell you exactly what you need to do to realise your dreams down under. As the only Mara registered visa company we trust and we're not the only ones as they have hundreds of five-star Google Google reviews. You can even check them out if you need help falling asleep. In fact, they're so slick that if you decide to use them, they'll pretty much do all of the hard work for you in securing your visa for you and your family to live their best life. So what are you waiting for? Here starts the booze. Oh my goodness me. Now, I don't know why, but why is Crown Lager a thing in Australia? For mm. Christmas time anyway. Because mm. I swear when I went into Dan's, out of all of the beers, I've, I've never really even drunk this one, but this was the one that was hardly any left of. So it does fall into the whole Christmas. just at Christmas thing. I've never seen them before, so. Why did you get a massive one? What if you don't like it? Well, then I'll just have to grin and bear it. But it's Christmas. How much are these? The crowns. $54. 54 bucks. Are they bottles or cat or bottles? Here you go. James Squire ginger beers. Ew, for me. Because ginger beer is also my new favourite thing to drink when you get a bit. Whoa. $79.95. Ginger beer's expensive, mate. Uh, if you develop an exclusive ginger beer taste in Australia, it's gonna cost you a little bit. Mm. Just drink beer, mate. I don't do beer. Speaking of beers, the all-day drinkables. Great Northern, super crisp. Great Northern, $54.95. With a chance of winning one of 10 10K Aussie adventures. Oh, didn't we have this or thing last year? thousands of other prizes. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I remember we did this last I year. I remember doing it once and it, like, it couldn't work figure out how to do it. And when I opened up the pack, I realized the promotion had run out. <laughs> More stuff for you, scapegoat ciders. So low sugar cider, 21.95. Moving on to some bubbles. Now this bubbles. is the bubble that, uh, and thank God there are six in there. This is the one that when Sam and I first came to Australia and we had just got engaged, Sam was asking everywhere for free stuff just so that we could celebrate our engagement. And the first place that we stayed at, yeah, no, that we stayed at up in Cairns, this was the uh, bottle of bubbles that they gave us. And we thought it was posh at the time. <laughs> Little did we even realise that it's probably one of the cheaper ones that you can get. But how much is it per bottle or as a six? $6.95 each. $6.95 each. And we've got six of those. So forty-one seventy. Now we're into just general wines and other alcohols. 
A Jacobs Creek Moscato. Yep, 8.55. A McGuigan Black Label Sparkly Shiraz. Oh yes, we've got two of them apparently. Yep, this is bloody good. Um, which is a total of 15.80. 15.80. For two. Now, the one thing I don't have in my large alcohol collection to make Long Island iced teas, just in case I don't get drunk at Christmas, some of the stuff to make it. So, triple sec. Has it minus off the off that price already or is that well, or you've got to so. take it off i don't know it's 13 31 29 and then they took 5.99 off i didn't even know it was on offer take that thank so you I dan so i'm not sure pinot noir pinot noir An australian do, pinot noir we do like that one we do like that specific one it's like a weird blurry face mm. so three of them uh 570 each 570 17 good, 10 for three it? cherry brandy or oh, jolly yes, cherry i like that a little shot of that. 21.90. Finlay's. <laughs> is that how you pronounce it? Finlay's Bailey's Ripoff. Bailey's Ripoff. Country Cream. 17.39. Because an actual bottle of Bailey's is about 40 bucks. Now, the other ingredient that was missing from my Long Island iced tea recipe, because I've got everything else, was tequila. And we had to go for this one because apparently this hat will fit our daughter, who is also called Sierra. Yeah, we're going to keep the and bottle was, for her. And it was cheap. $53.95. Yeah. But minus $4. Ah, uh, there's the other bottle of McGuigan's Black. What else do we have? A pink Moscato. That will basically be like I juice. I think that's the litre one, isn't that's it? That's the litre one, yeah. <laughs> That's cheap, 6.80. 6.80 for a litre of that. It's like 6% as well. Oh, There's the other bottle of Pinot Noir. There's another bottle of sparkling Shiraz, which I can tell you now is the same price as the McGuigan Black. Sea View Sparkling Shiraz, yep. 7.90. 7.90. How do you know? Because it was like the same on the tag. That's oh, why okay. I got it. I never tried that one. I want to expand my horizons. Oh. There's the other bottle of Pinot Noir. And um, what is this one? An early harvest Lindemann's Riesling. Yes, it was recommended. Because so you don't 12, like them too 70. dry. 1270? Oh no. That was the cheapest one. I can't remember the last time we spent over 10 bucks on a bottle of wine in Australia. I just hope it's all right. Well, if it isn't, then that's going straight in the bin. Now, you couldn't have a Christmas in Australia without having some goon, but rather than goon wine, which you kind of have enough of wine anyway, I went for a goon port, oh. an Australian tawny. How much is two litres of port goon? 10.99. For two litres. And it's got 28 standard drinks in it. Wow. I think that has got to be price per unit or price per standard drink, the cheapest way to get drunk in Australia. Tell me another way. Now the total price of all of this stuff, which again, like the food, we're not gonna drink it all on Christmas day, is that, which brings the total cost of all of our Christmas stuff that we spent to that. And uh, I hope that that has helped inform you what the cost of Christmas is like in Australia. And I don't think it was too bad, considering I can't remember the last time we went to Dan's. No. This does not make us look like alcoholics that much. <laughs> Probably what makes us look more like an alcoholic is when I did the 12 pubs of Christmas. And if you want to watch that, have a look at that video there. See you soon. Bye.